Right, I'll show you a few aspects of the geometrical side of fast concept modeler. Um, here we've got a car modeled with a, a frame. Um, we, this is a typical method for driving the, the shape. We're using yellow points uh, as master points. And um, what I can do is I've hung the geometry on there. I just edit the point, double click. And now I can move that point very freely around and the shape will update. All the panels follow it. Uh, the splines are equally easy to use, double click. And now I can change the shape of the spline, make it look very um, aerodynamic. And uh, we use a lot of um, controls to override the uh, parametrics. Uh, so if I click on here, I can now move around. It finds all the parents, it finds all the children, and it manages um, to move them. If I say move that the part of the car, it'll move that part of the car. It doesn't argue, it doesn't give me error messages. Um, and there we go. Uh, it's updated everything. And uh, the green points here, these are uh, associative points. They're child points of the yellow points. So I can move this around. You can see how it's connected to this point. But I can also switch it off. And now it's independent from this point. In fact, I can make this point, which was the master point before, a child of this. Now I've reversed the associativity. Should I choose to um, uh, move this point, the other point follows. So uh, we can swap the associativity around, and also we can override it. Uh, if I were to uh, move this point, uh, I can. Uh, if I were to move this point, I can move all the ch children points around, but I can switch that off. And uh, now I can just move it independently, and this point stays still. So I can temporarily override the associativity. In fact, I can um, also break the uh, associativity if I were to delete this, and um, then this point uh, becomes, this point here, becomes non-associative. I'll undo that because it didn't make sense. But we've got methods for breaking, overriding, and reversing the associativity. Um, we've also enhanced um, some of the functions so that we can have a very clever section. This is a section, you can see I'm moving it around very freely. It's a section where I can define the plane very easily, all with a compass, all designed to be easy to use. Let's position it here somewhere. You can see where it's positioned very easily. I can put it about here, and now I can cut through the part. Now we cut through with a very unique command. We can cut through entire um, uh, vehicles loaded in visualization mode and generate genuine, real uh, geometry. In fact, sketch geometry uh, that we can use. You can modify. It's real geometry. Um, so there, I've um, uh, positioned my plane. I've, I've uh, cut through the, the vehicle. And now let's um, sketch on it. Let's, um, I can say right at this point here on the plane, I want to draw some profile or other or some panel there. And this panel is now uh, ready for use in 3D. I can carry on manipulating it, change its position. Uh, and if I like it, I can press the save button and I save it in the catalogue. In fact, the catalogue's directly connected into this tool. I can fish out something I've saved earlier and use in my design. And there, I approve that one. And um, there I've got a special uh, section that I've, uh, that I've shared with other um, colleagues. So the sketch is a very um, uh, is integrated into the section uh, command um, as long as the, as well as the catalog and the um, uh, 3D positioning, um, we have another special um, function here. These parts of the car are defined by uh, profiles. These profiles are sections, as you saw, and these sections here are associative to other parts. Um, all these surfaces are special objects here in the tree. Uh, you can see there our objects and we can uh, create them and actually go into them. Let me show you how I make this. This is a connection surface between um, these three these three uh, beam objects that are coming together. We have a, also our own way of connecting them. Very simple connection to start with. Make a straight connection. Let's make that tangent. And now I want to add the third part. Let's pick this part it'll connect automatically to it. However, I want to define a little bit better than that. 
and this is designed to be easy to do. We don't want um, we don't want uh, a lot of learning involved. We just say um, I want to change uh, the connections of all these parts, and I want everything that's above this point and above this point to run straight through, and everything else to branch off down. And now I've changed that connection. Very simple. Uh, you can go. You can even change. Um, at the position and put it anywhere on the profile. Let's put one point there, connect it to here, a new point there. So those are the two points that I want to connect up. And I finally confirm that by saying those two points, everything above them goes straight on, everything below them branches off. And there it is. You can do all complicated shapes from the car when you're combining all these profiles using that same technique. I said from there to there, everything above it should run straight ahead, everything else should branch off.